But first, it was an ambush he didn't see coming. And I ran, and I said, help somebody, help. That's when they ran and took my car. A Detroit man beaten and carjacked shares his terrifying story. That tops our news today at 5. Thankfully, Neil Richardson is out of the hospital, back home tonight, but after a horrifying ordeal. Meanwhile, the two teens who ambushed him are still on the run. Let's get out to Sean Lay live, and Sean, he knows who those two are. Kimberly, good evening to you. Simply outrageous. Neil Richardson getting out of the hospital a short time ago, and he knows the two teens that put him in the hospital overnight. Two teens he was simply taking to church so those kids could play basketball, but instead they attacked him. Blam! It was like I was knocked out, but I wasn't knocked out because I couldn't be knocked out because I had to move. 64-year-old Neil Richardson was ambushed Wednesday evening by two teens only 15 and 17 years old, two boys that he knows very well and was simply trying to help. Those teens stabbing Richardson several times. The teens grabbed Richardson's gun. He thought he was going to die. They said, shoot that N-word. That's what they said. Pull, drag him back in the car, drag him back in the car. It all started with a simple act of kindness. Mr. Richardson knows the 15-year-old's mother. He was driving the teens to meet her at church on the west side so the teens could play basketball in the gym. But instead, those boys attacked him. All of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere. Bam. What's more, Richardson is desperately searching for his daughter, Adriana. She's been in the news recently. She's been missing since last month. The teens were showing Richardson social media posts related to his daughter to distract him when they attacked. And they kept pounding on me, but because, because I know how to fight, who, who, out the car, couldn't see that well. My glasses were gone. Those teens taking Richardson's car. Here is the very latest, however. That car very recently has been found on the west side, and it has been found torched. So keep in mind, both teens, 15 and 17-year-old, olds remain on the loose, and they are armed with Richardson's gun. Kimberly. And, Sean, you mentioned that Richardson knows these two. How long had he known them? Yeah, we asked him that question. He's known both kids for about Four years, he says he knows the younger one more because he knows his family better. He says he has uh, brought him clothing, food, and even taken the younger one to court, which indicates that 15-year-old has been in trouble with the law before. Just up to no good. All right, Sean, hopefully they're caught soon. We appreciate it.